This is a step-by-step -step tutorial on how to make a server for any mod pack. First thing you want to do is launch the mod pack that you want to make the server of. You can find the Forge version on the title screen or in the mod options. Here we have Forge 10.13.4.1566. What you want to do next is you'll want to head over to Forge.net. And as you see, you have all the versions listed. You have 1.7 10 pack. You will choose. Now you can go ahead and download the recommended installer or the latest. But if you want it to be the safest, you'll want to choose the exact version that you have on your mod pack that's listed in your game. Once you run the installer, you'll have three options to install the client, server, or extract. Now you'll want to click the install server option and select a empty folder now and you hit OK and it will install the server in that folder. Once you open up the folder that you installed the server on, you'll see you only have two files in a folder. Now you're going to need some folders from the mod pack that you're trying to make a server of. The easiest way to find where this directory is, is if you open up your Minecraft, you go into the options, resource packs and then open resource pack folder. Now you can go up to your directory. Now there are several folders here you're going to have to look out for. For sure you need config and mods. However, if the pack uses mind tweaker, you're going to also need the folder called scripts. So you simply take your three folders, config, mod, scripts, and you copy them over into the directory of your server. Now if the mod pack starts with a world. You can create a single player world, take that over from your saves, and rename that as world in your server directory. Once you have all your files, you can go ahead and run the forge. Uh, this will start up the server and it'll crash. Now, with servers, some mods are only client side, so copying all the mods over will cause the crash. Copying all the mods over will cause the server to crash and will generate crash reports. However, you can easily find out which mods are crashing by looking at the crash reports and removing them. You can look at the top of the crash report. Here it says Lumium resource loader, loader, normal resource loader. So you know resource loader is crashing. However, if you look at this and you have no idea what's going on, you should go down to a section where you see all these mods listed and these UCs. Now up here it says states. Unloaded, loaded, constructed, green says all these. Now if it's a UE, that means it's crashed. So if you can search in your text editor, you can just search UE all the way down. And right here it says resource loader, UE. You'll need to remove that. Sound filters, UE. You'll need to remove that. Now even after you do this the first time, it may crash two or three times. But after four times, you should be good. And if you make note of which mods are crashing, which mainly will be journey map, resource loader, custom main menu, things like that that are only client side, then you can just remove those every time you update your server.